psoriasis, a word that carries the weight of both science and suffering. A chronic autoimmune disease where the immune system turns against the very skin it is meant to protect. It is not contagious, but it is relentless, reshaping skin, joints, and even the inner workings of the immune system. It often begins where the world sees us first. The elbows, the knees, the scalp, the trunk. Raised red scaly plaques that itch, burn and bleed. For some it's mild irritation, for others it consumes their daily life. Plaque psoriasis is the most common subtype. Round or flat plaques with a pink base overlaid by silvery white scales. They itch, they flake, they sting. They remind us that the skin is not just a barrier, it is an organ under siege. Guttate psoriasis appears suddenly often after a strep throat infection. Small red papules spread like stars across the skin, a visual echo of the immune system's overreaction. In pustular psoriasis, the body produces sterile pustules, white blisters on angry red skin. In its generalized form, patients can develop fever, fatigue and weakness so severe it becomes a medical emergency. Localized forms scar the palms, soles or fingertips, sometimes even eating into the bone. Erythrodermic psoriasis is the rarest and most dangerous form. It covers nearly the entire body, redness, peeling, heat. Patients struggle to regulate temperature, balance fluids and fight off infection. It is not just skin disease, it is systemic crisis. Nearly one-third of psoriasis patients develop psoriatic arthritis. Fingers swell like sausages, knees stiffen, the spine aches. Pain makes movement heavy, even disabling. For some, the arthritis appears before the skin changes, creating a diagnostic puzzle. Up to 90% of patients with psoriatic arthritis also see changes in their nails. Pitting, yellow-red, oil drop spots, thickening, loosening, and crumbling. Each fingertip tells a story of inflammation beneath the surface. Psoriasis has a genetic fingerprint. Over 60 susceptibility regions have been identified with HLA-CW6 strongly tied to early onset disease. Yet genes alone are not destiny. Environmental sparks ignite the fire. Stress, smoking, infection, even physical trauma, known as the Cobner phenomenon, can trigger flare-ups. Curiously, while smoking increases psoriasis risk, it may paradoxically reduce the chance of developing psoriatic arthritis. The relationship is anything but simple. At the cellular level, psoriasis is driven by the immune system. Antigen-presenting cells activate T-cells, which migrate into the skin, releasing cytokines that drive keratinocyte hyperproliferation. This creates a feedback loop of inflammation, scale and redness, a storm that refuses to quiet. Diagnosis rests largely in the eyes of an experienced dermatologist. Plaques, papules, and scaling often tell the story. But psoriasis mimics and is mimicked by eczema, fungal infections and even rare cancers. When uncertain, biopsies reveal its microscopic hallmarks. Clubbed epidermal projections, epidermal thickening and persistent inflammatory cells. Under the microscope, psoriatic skin looks unmistakable, immature skin cells that never fully mature, CD8 plus T cells filling the epidermis, CD4 plus T cells in the dermis, a skin battlefield under perpetual siege, but psoriasis is not just skin disease, it is systemic. The inflammation spreads like ripples through the body, touching the heart, the brain, and the metabolism. People with psoriasis face over double the risk of cardiovascular complications, heart attacks, strokes, inflamed arteries. Driven by what scientists call the psoriatic march, a cascade of systemic inflammation. Depression affects up to 55% of patients. The stigma of visible lesions can isolate, but inflammation itself may also alter brain chemistry, linking chronic immune activity to mood disorders. Type 2 diabetes risk increases by nearly 50%. The genetic link lies in inflammatory pathways shared between both conditions, especially NFKB. Psoriasis is not only skin deep, it is immune deep. Everyday life is shaped by psoriasis. Clothing choices, social interactions, even sleep. It is more than cosmetic. It is a chronic burden affecting identity, relationships, and opportunities. Understanding the roots of psoriasis, in genes, in immunity, in systemic health, opens doors to better therapies. The story of psoriasis is not just about plaques. It is about pathways, patience, and progress. Psoriasis is more than what we see on the surface. It is a chronic autoimmune condition that accelerates the life cycle of skin cells, leaving red, itchy, scaly patches across the body. But what drives this relentless cycle? To find the root causes, we must travel beneath the skin, into genes, immune cells, and the very triggers of inflammation. 
At the heart of psoriasis lies an immune system gone astray. Dendritic cells, the sentinels of defense, release interferon alpha, activating armies of T helper cells. Among them, the T1 and T17 subsets lead the charge releasing waves of inflammatory cytokines. These molecules, TNF-alpha, interleukin-17 and interleukin-23, ignite a feedback loop. They amplify immune responses, recruit more cells, and instruct keratinocytes to grow too quickly, never maturing properly. The result is a vicious cycle. Skin cells turn over in days instead of weeks. Plaques grow thick and scaly, blood vessels expand to feed the inflammation. The skin becomes a battlefield without end. YL-17 and IL-23 are central villains in this drama. They not only maintain the fire but also recruit neutrophils and macrophages, fueling tissue damage and sustaining the storm. They even promote angiogenesis, the growth of new blood vessels, to feed the inflammation. Genes write the blueprint of risk. Psoriasis runs in families, passed down like hidden codes. The strongest link lies in the sores one locus, especially the HLAC0602 allele. But psoriasis is polygenic, over nine susceptibility regions contribute, interacting in ways we are only beginning to understand. Genes regulating interleukins like IL-12B and IL-23R shape the IL-23 slash the 17 pathway. Tumor necrosis factor variants drive skin inflammation, even genes affecting the skin barrier itself tilt the balance toward disease. But genes are only the loaded gun. The trigger is environmental. Stress, smoking, seasonal changes, trauma to the skin, known as the Cobner phenomenon, all conspire to awaken dormant pathways. Infections can light the fuse. Streptococcal throat infections often trigger gut hate psoriasis. Raindrop-shaped lesions appearing overnight. HIV infection too worsens psoriasis by distorting immune function. Even medications can provoke psoriasis. Beta blockers for the heart, lithium for bipolar disorder, antimalarials like chloroquine, NSAIDs, and topical agents like imikimod, all can turn the immune system against the skin. The interplay between genes, immune dysregulation and environment makes psoriasis chronic and relapsing. Flare after flare, remission followed by return. It becomes a cycle woven into life itself. Doctors measure psoriasis with scales. Body surface area, or BSA, shows how much of the skin is involved. The PASI score combines redness, thickness, and scaling into one number. The Dermatology Life Quality Index, or DLQI, measures the unseen scars, how much the disease impacts daily life, from work to intimacy. For many, psoriasis remains mild, treated with creams and light therapy. For others, plaques cover large portions of the body, interfering with movement, sleep, and self-esteem. Lesions on hands can make simple tasks painful, scalp psoriasis may be mistaken for dandruff, adding embarrassment, and flare-ups on feet can make walking excruciating. Beyond the skin, quality of life is deeply altered. Psoriasis carries a heavy psychological burden. Stigma, misconceptions of contagion and visible disfigurement fuel social isolation. Depression is common, fueled both by immune inflammation and the pain of exclusion. Family life and relationships are affected. Patients may fear rejection, intimacy may suffer, and children may struggle with the visibility of the condition. Psoriasis is not just physical, it is personal, emotional, social. The good news? Most people experience only mild forms, treatable with topicals, but for the smaller group with severe disease, disability and systemic complications reshape their lives. Perhaps the heaviest weight is stigma. Too often, society fears what it does not understand. Psoriasis is not contagious but those who live with it are often treated as though it is. That misunderstanding deepens the wound. Today, science is unraveling the puzzle. By understanding the genetic and immune roots, by recognizing triggers, we open doors to treatments that target psoriasis at its source. Psoriasis is not just a skin condition, it is an immune storm, fueled by overactive T-cells and pro-inflammatory cytokines. But today, science offers hope. Treatments now target the disease at every level, from creams on the surface to light that reshapes immunity to biologics that shut down the storm at its core. Because psoriasis is chronic, visible, and systemic, treatment must do more than clear plaques. It must improve quality of life, restore comfort, and address the disease's deep inflammatory roots. Topical agents remain the cornerstone of care for mild to moderate psoriasis. They work directly on lesions with minimal systemic side effects. Corticosteroids are the most common, reducing inflammation by blocking cytokines. 
Potency matters. Strong steroids provide fast relief but long-term use can thin the skin or lose effectiveness. Vitamin D analogs like calcipotrien slow down keratinocyte growth and modulate immunity. Combined with corticosteroids, they enhance results while reducing side effects. Topical retinoids like tazerotene normalize cell turnover. Calcineurin inhibitors, tacrolimus and pimacrolimus, are especially useful in delicate areas like the face or groin, avoiding steroid-related thinning. Traditional therapies like coal tar and anthralin reduce scaling and slow growth, though their odor and staining limit use. Still, they remind us of medicine's long battle with this condition. For centuries, sunlight has calmed psoriasis. Today, phototherapy refines that approach, especially with narrowband UVB light. NB UVB therapy exposes the skin to controlled wavelengths of 311 to 313 nanometers. It induces apoptosis of overactive T-cells, reducing inflammation and normalizing keratinocyte growth. Within weeks, plaques shrink and fade. PUVA combines sorolin, a light-sensitizing drug, with UVA exposure. It slows cell turnover and modulates immune pathways, but side effects like nausea and long-term cancer risk make it less common today, often replaced by NBUVB. When psoriasis spreads widely or resists topicals, systemic therapies step in, drugs that calm the immune system throughout the body. Methotrexate, one of the oldest systemic agents, inhibits DNA synthesis, slowing down rapidly dividing T-cells and skin cells. Effective but demanding, it requires monitoring for liver, blood, and gastrointestinal side effects. Acetretin, a retinoid, helps normalize skin cell development, especially in pustular and erythrodermic psoriasis. But because it can cause birth defects, it is not suitable for women of childbearing age. Cyclosporine works quickly by halting T-cell activation. It brings dramatic improvement, but long-term use risks kidney damage, hypertension, and increased cancer risk. A newer oral agent, apremilast, blocks phosphodesterase 4. It dampens inflammatory cytokines with a favorable safety profile, especially for patients with multiple comorbidities. Biologics have revolutionized treatment. These lab-engineered antibodies block the very cytokines that fuel psoriasis, TNF-alpha Illinois, 17 and IL-23. Anti-TNF agents like etnercept, infliximab and adalimumab were the pioneers, reducing inflammation across the body and bringing rapid skin clearance. Next came IL-17 inhibitors, sucucanumab, ixacizumab, and brotolumab. By targeting the cytokine most responsible for keratinocyte overgrowth, they achieve clear or nearly clear skin in a majority of patients. IL-23 inhibitors like guselcumab, tildrakizumab, and risankizumab block inflammation at its source. They allow for sustained remission and longer dosing intervals, bringing relief with fewer injections. Biologics are powerful, but not without risks infections, reactivation of tuberculosis, and rare malignancies are possible. Careful screening and follow-up are key. Still, for many, biologics offer life-changing results. The future of psoriasis care lies in precision, matching treatments to genetics, lifestyle, and comorbidities. Personalized medicine promises to move beyond one-size-fits-all into therapies tailored for each individual. From creams to light, from pills to biologics, treatment for psoriasis has come a long way. What once felt like an untouchable burden is now a disease increasingly managed, even controlled. And as science advances, so too does hope.